The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their survival. And its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to arms. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, to Valkyria Chronicles, my new series. Um... I love this game. You basically, it's a turn-based strategy where you kind of freely move your peeps a distance and aim and things. It's great. Story's pretty engaging too. I'll try not to do tons of talking during story, but there's kind of like little cutscenes where it's kind of just funny. And I will be quipping in and out of those because it's kind of funny. So let's get cracking. Come on, let's get, yeah, view this episode. Idyllic scenery. Beautiful. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion. Oh, the sensible peeps is leaving. Because sensible. And there's our hero. I haven't been down this road Just walking years. back. It really hasn't changed like he don't care. Much. No rush. No hesit no, you know. I don't care that the army's coming. Already? Oh fish. Hey there, guys. Hey, fish. Gets distracted easily. Beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Really, really easily distracted. I don't think he's really drawing though. I think he's got a book with pre-made pictures Freeze. and he says they're his sketches. Put your hands in the air. Slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um... My name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. With the watch, so, but obviously... I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Way Did too busy stopping random people to do anything this else. Is nothing, really. Not, well, you know, building up defences, laying down mines, setting traps for the advancing massive army. Oh, just know. stopping one guy, painting some and fish, you know, drawing fish. You? Do you not, Sir Warren? We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Thanks, fish. Thanks, fish. You should really be thanking your magpie-like mind. All right. Um, 
Yeah, story basically, uh, you probably caught it kind of, it's, we're like this little country that's neutral to both these massive powers, and everyone wants resources, and we got them, so the Empire doesn't care that we're neutral, they're just going for it. This may have a repercussion later. Um, it is kind of a bit of an allegory on World War Two, but not completely. And at least the wars, and like, because it's even the Second Gallian Wars, isn't it? Or something like that. It's like the Second Second War, because there was wars before. Also, um, the the reason for the wars is a bit more sensible. These guys just want, just want resources. So, you're a bit smarter than, you know, history. Thanks for the compliments. Can I go now? Maybe. No. You do that, love. Great. Oh, great. Welks? Is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, <laughs> I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. I mean, none of this delay would happen if he didn't stop and draw some fish, but still. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. We I know. saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Even now, I can see how I might have looked. You don't know for definite, do you? Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. He's so wholesome. Into it sometimes, I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down. Over there. See, and this is weird because like the Empire is just randomly attacking civilians and you're like well, that's a bit evil. What's the point in that? And there's like wall barricades there, go up to the wall. Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Dun 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 dun. Right, first mission. I'm just gonna crack on. Ignore the saving bit. Just gonna crack on with the mission. It's an easy one. Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're in a tiny little village, but they're only rubbish scouts you can take them go over the bridge and shoot them just really quickly no cover fire no support just charge started. at guns it'll be fine because we live in a world of turn based war so we're better than them and probably will win three of them. plus they're randomly scattered That's... very little team tactics in, in the early days yeah, we'll skip command points i know all this and you guys will learn while you watch, won't you? So, come on, Wilkes. Da, da, da. Yes, 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 yes. You get your movement. You move freely. You see a thing. You aim and you shoot the thing. It's very easy. He's not even looking my way. Yep. Yeah. I know. I know. Come on, let me do my thing. And because he's not looking my way, he's not going to shoot me. So I can literally go as close as I want. And then just aim and pull trigger, and he's down. You see, like he ain't no thing. And when you end your action, you finish that point. Yes. Fist pump of success. Yeah, I get it. Sorry about all this. This is very much just baby's first training mission, and it's so easy. That action. And in fairness, I could probably reuse it and just Here get we Wilkes go. to do all the killings. He might be good enough. 
let's see, can he, can he get them in the head? I'll give it a try. No, well, because you suck so much at chewing. <sighs> Fine. Ready to go. I like having Welkin do all the kills for this one because the girl later on is like, I'm, I'm his hero. And if you do it all, then really, you are. The civilian ran forward with a gun while the town watch stood back and watched. End current phase, yes. Because I can't do no more. use CP on the same person as much as you want as well. You can put restrictions on yourself, but there's not a great deal of reason to it. Stand and run, stand and run, stand and run, stand and run. Oh no, he saw me, but it's okay. Crouching down and aiming. So I won't sing for everything, but I do like my singing. Done. And that's, that's the first mission. Three scouts who probably went off course probably got distracted, attacked some civilians innocently, thinking they were ogres, and we brutally gunned them down. B rank, it would have been A if I'd done it in one turn. Never mind. I'm not going to go for rankings. It would take forever. We'll see this, and that's the end of the prologue, so I'll probably end the episode here. And then episode 2 will be chapter 1, and episode 3 will be chapter 2. And that way, forever, in a confusing manner. We're always just behind another chapter. I don't get why you feel sad because they just gun down civilians. It kind of they gloss over those things. Good. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. You can do it. Yes, ma'am. What should we do with the body? So she's in charge. She's in charge of the time watch. So it's begun. I'll do Why? It takes to Why is she in charge? This town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. Reference to World War II that, where German paratroopers had a little flower, very similar, called Edelweiss. And they'd go up to the mountains to pick it. Killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. No, mostly just people killing people. Don't romanticise it. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. Spoiler alert! For God's These sake! These would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mist. Sorry, of time. Gosh. A story of courage and of trust of persecution and hate hmm. and of love blooming even through the flames of war what follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought lived and died Dun, 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 Valkyria Chronicles. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This has been part one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!